Hello dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting further, I would like to say something. Please watch video completely. Sit with copy pane. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed further. Although you have facing any problem or difficulties, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Now here is the question. A piece of wire is bent in the shape of a parabola y equal to kx square. Y axis here vertical with a bead of mass small m on it. The bead can slide on the wire without friction. It stays at the lowest point of the parabola when the wire is at rest. The wire is now accelerated parallel to the x axis with a constant acceleration a. The distance of the new equilibrium position of the bead where the bead can stay at rest with respect to the wire from the y axis is. Here we have given four options. Option A, A by GK, Option B, A by 2 GK, Option C, 2 A by GK, Option D, A by 4 GK. Here, what the question says, here a bead kept on a wire and wire is bent like in parabola and it is moving towards to the x direction and here the equation is given y equal to kx square y equal to kx square then differentiate with respect of x dy by dx equal to 2kx. So here dy by dx means slope or we can say that gradient tan theta angle is formed between y and x axis so therefore dy by dx equal to 2kx. It means angle is formed between the horizontal line and this is theta dy by dx. So it is also theta and now you know that very well an object is kept on the surface that normal force is acting here. So now it is theta then it becomes 90 minus theta right. Here when this uh, wire is moving towards to the x side x direction then pseudo force will be acting on it. You know that very well any object is kept on moving object then pseudo force and pseudo acceleration will be acting on it and its direction is opposite. So here suppose this second block is moving towards to the right side then pseudo force acting towards the left side. So here MA acting left side. Is it clear now? MG weight of the bead acting downward direction. Here N divided into components 90 minus theta. So here it can be written as 90 minus theta then it become theta. So here n cos theta and it is n sin theta. Is it okay? So it is very important things. Why we have to return here theta? Because dy by dx we have already given equation y equal to kx square. So we have differentiate then dy by dx and dy by dx is called slope. So angle is formed between y and x axis. So we have here written theta then it become also theta alternate integer angles uh, equal then this is theta and it is 90 minus theta because it is complementary and 90 minus theta and again become theta. So here n cos theta and n sin theta. So n sin theta equal to ma and here n cos theta n cos theta equal to mg this is first equation this is second equation divided by first and second we get n theta equal to a by g here you know that very well d over dx is called tan theta and tan theta equal to 2 kx so here 2 kx equal to a by g then x equal to a by 2 k and g Let's see which option is matching here a by 2 g a. Here option B is correct answer. I hope so. You understood this problem. Thank you for dear students staying till the ends of this video.
and i know that very well you are working very hard and if i will be a part of your success journey that it will be my pleasure but when more and more students will join with your success journey then it will be very great things thank you once again take care